Hello friends, family. Today is March 6, 2017. I am in Lower Manhattan. I am at a place called Battery Park. Beautiful park, beautiful green space and wonderful views of New York Bay as well. We're going to come back to this building over here that we just pan out of, that red brick building. I'm just uh, spanning around so that you can take a look at the scene today. March 6, 2017. It's a cold day in New York, although it's uh, the sun is out, it's very bright, it's beautiful. Although a bit chilly, but uh, hopefully in the days to come the temperatures will start to warm up and this area will become uh, nicer to walk around, especially since we're so close to the water, it can be very cold at times. Today we're here to take a look at an exhibit uh, inside Castle Clinton. Castle Clinton is a spectacular space, will be the topic of a video in the future as well. But we're going to specifically take a look at an exhibition space inside this building. This building has been around since 1811. And at the time when it was built, it was on top of a little island that was very close to Manhattan. And they built a bridge that connected the castle, excuse me, sorry, that connected the castle to, to Manhattan. Over here we can see in this drawing, in this sign with information about the place, we see the building Castle Clinton soon after it was built and you can see that bridge that connected it to the uh, to the mainland, to Manhattan Island. The exhibition that we're going to be taking a look at is inside this space. Soon after you enter Castle Clinton, by the way, this is where you buy the tickets to go visit the Statue of Liberty. It's right over here, so you don't go there to where you get the tickets, the exhibition space is oftentimes missed a lot like it's very busy a lot of the times out here but sometimes inside this space this door to the right there's not a lot of people it's nice and warm in here as well so if it's very cold if you want to get away from the from the outside environment this is a nice place to find some respite Castle Clinton has been many different things. There's an exhibition at the very top uh, over here soon after you enter to the right and you see uh, at different time periods soon after the castle was built, the bridge that connected it to Manhattan. Uh, there you have it as a, operating as a military fort. Then this was turned into a concert space, Castle Garden later on the elegant interior of castle garden featuring a bubbling water fountain in the central rotunda there used to be a roof building with a very long history so this is so in that time period when this space operated as Castle Garden and then it was turned into an immigration center. So they would hear a lot about Ellis Island, but before Ellis Island, Castle Clinton was the place where immigrants were processed when they arrived in New York from around 1850 to around 1892. In 1892 is when Ellis Island opened. After Ellis Island opened, late 19th century, Castle Clinton was turned into an aquarium. See there the pools and the animals, fish in the water. The aquarium's collection grew as captains and yachtsmen based in New York collected exotic fish from around the world. In 1941, the aquarium closed. There's an aquarium in Brooklyn, today in Coney Island, I think. Saved from demolition by a group of concerned citizens, Castle Clinton was this uh, designated a national monument in 1950, restored to its original appearance as a fort and opened to the public in 1975. So the appearance that we experience today has been around since 1975. Then there are also these windows. So these are images uh, on top, these exhibition boxes that show us New York at three different time periods, three different skylines of the city. New York today has the most popular skyline on the planet. So let's take a look at how this looked like at different time periods. So if we can visualize even before this, 
you can see that the buildings are very small not very tall from what I'm picking up here three or four stories tall this is New York in 1812 one year after the castle was completed the castle was completed in 1811 you can see oh, well, you see the bridge okay. and you see so, Lower Manhattan you see buildings from that time period New York in the early 19th century okay, we're going to move now to the next window some things before we do that before take a look over there in the distance that little church building that you see there that is a St. Paul's Chapel. St. Paul's Chapel is the oldest building, oldest public building in, in all of Manhattan. It's been here since 1765, back when this was a colony of Great Britain. And it's located very close to where the Twin Towers were located. Right in front of the World Trade Center. Okay, I'm going to zoom back. Sorry about the lighting, I'm thinking I'm see if I can get it so that it doesn't shift that much. Boom, another vision of New York. This is from 1886, so later in the 19th century. So you can see the landscape has drastically changed. Buildings are now bigger. <coughs> and there's also the Brooklyn Bridge connecting Manhattan to Brooklyn on the other side. Building a uh, bridge completed in 1883. Lots of changes manifested in New York throughout its history. There, there was a great fire in 1835 that destroyed approximately estimates vary. But estimates go as high as up to 700 buildings destroyed in this lower section of Manhattan in 1835. Big things happening resulting in big development. New York 1886, notice the docks over here. These docks are along the Hudson River. The original docks, the earlier docks of New York were on the eastern side in this area here because it was less windy for ships that were not as developed as they went on to become in the latter part of the 19th century and the last window display is New York in 1941 as you can see, buildings are even bigger now. There we have the Art Deco buildings from the 1930s, right over there. The one with the green roof that is at the Trump building today. Donald Trump owns that building. He purchased it in 1997 and is right along Wall Street. That building was the tallest in the world from uh, for about four months only, completed in 1929. Four months later, the Chrysler building was completed and that one became the tallest. Art Deco Towers. Very nice representations and very realistic. A nice way to connect to the different time periods of New York. A city that is, in a sense, timeless. Here we connect to the timelessness of three particular moments in time. And this gallery space over here is very nice and cozy, again inside Castle Clinton. There's another exhibition box over here that shows you, or that reflects a little on the aquatic diversity of this part of the world. The types of creatures that are abundant in these waters over here. When the Dutch got here in the early 17th century, there was abundance of everything. Oysters over there, shells, even whales in the waters of New York Bay. And they're actually coming back. In recent times, there have been a couple of reports that are indicating that the whales are coming back. They've been spotted several times. Looking through the window here, 
we see the interior of Castle Clinton, people buying tickets to go visit the Statue of Liberty. All right, that's going to be it for today's short video vlog. I hope you've enjoyed. I'm going to be making more of these in the days to come. Um, share them, connect, connect your, uh, connect your friends, share them on social media. This way we can keep exploring and taking a look at the wonderful creative riches on display in the public spaces of this incredible city. I'm going to exit the gallery space at Castle Clinton to leave you with one last view of Battery Park today. March 6, 2006, 2017. Very cold day, but nevertheless, a lot of people here to go visit the Statue of Liberty. If you are on YouTube, if you are watching on YouTube, subscribe to the channel. Uh, that's where I'll be uploading. And if you are on Facebook, if you have a Facebook account, like the Facebook page. From time to time, I'll be going live as well so that we can connect live to the wonderful creative content in this incredible metropolis. Have a wonderful afternoon or morning, depending where you are and when you are watching this video. Bye-bye.